Good morning. Today we're here at Whole Foods. We're going to go in, check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So we did travel to the east side of Cincinnati. We are in Oakley, uh, kind of near Norwood, kind of central Cincinnati here. Uh, this is the closest Whole Foods to us. They are doing a bunch of remodeling up here. They have a temporary entrance here. Let's go and see what they got. So as soon as we come in here, they have a nice little eatery. As soon as you walk in, um, I don't want to film it right now because there's a bunch of people sitting down having lunch or some awesome little pastries they got here. These look pretty good. I like having this right up front so you can see. And I, I gotta say, everything does look very fresh. Got some different breads here. Ancient grain bread right here. That looks pretty good. Uh, guys have left a lot of great comments on Whole Foods. I, I know it's going to be a little expensive, but, you know, I've heard the quality is very good. Look at these. Boy, they know how to do it here. Look at these cakes. Let's see. Uh, $4 for one cupcake. I mean, they do look pretty fancy. I will say that. $25 for this uh, little cake right here. Um, boy, it all does look good. I will say that. Some of these tarts right here. Each one of these tarts is $4. Got these awesome little cupcakes here. Got a little mini carrot cupcake. Walnut cupcake. That's interesting. Uh, got a little mini salted caramel cupcake. Oreo cupcake. It's very Disney looking. A lot of these pastries cuts kind of reminds me of Disney. I've uh, got the little twirl New York cheesecake. Ooh, two twenty-five for that. And about the pastries? I was just saying I just saw the sign that said they don't use hydrogenated, however you say that. Hydrogenated fats, high fructose corn syrups, or so all natural. Any artificial? It's all like natural. Stuff. All so. no artificial it's stuff. Like so this yeah. is all natural ingredients. So when you think about that, something for four dollars. Well done. So I was telling people that it kind of reminds me of Disney. Yeah. Like, see the little swirls on the cheesecakes yeah, and the so cupcakes. Good. I know I we're probably going to get that. But yeah, right here it says uh, no hydrogenated fats or high fructose corn syrup Fructis. in their cakes. Yeah, however you say that. Fresh breakfast pastries baked without artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. So you're getting the real stuff here, guys. I'll tell you what, these do look great. We may have to try one of these. Okay, so let me say right away that there are some really awesome people working here. Um, we, we let them know that this is our really kind of our first time in Whole Foods because I remember when I came years ago, I wasn't in here long. I was actually meeting somebody to go somewhere else. Uh, never noticed a hot bar here where you can actually go and the eateries over here. So you can get this to go or you can eat it over there. Also, the guy was telling me that ever since they got bought out by Amazon, a lot of prices are comparable to a lot of different grocery stores. So we're going to check that out. That's interesting. Oh, you can like make your own concoction or whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, guys. This is really fresh. The tomatoes look fantastic. Love these. You guys know I love my peppers. This is what we do uh, when, when you see them go on sale and I say cut them up and freeze them. We slice them up in little pieces, put them in bags, and throw them in the freezer. Uh, save them for later. That way we've always got them. Look at these olives. These look fantastic. Got the Greek olives, the pitted. Got some beets. Some people were talking about not being able to find beets. I know those aren't the ones you're looking for, but uh, yeah, put your own salad together. Ever, ever since the start, you know, a couple years ago when all this stuff, you know, they didn't have all this stuff out probably. It's good to see some of this stuff coming back. I thought they would have started putting the salad bar and stuff back at Kroger, but they haven't done that. Look at that spinach. Boy, it looks fresh. Wait, do that again. Huh? Say that again. They had an olive bar. Yes, they do. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. I was looking at the olives over there, the Greek olives, and they looked fantastic. But look at these. Do you know what else they have? What's that? A pizza bar. A pizza bar? There's pizza over there. Oh, my goodness. Why do we never come here? <laughs> Jeez. This place is amazing. Thank you all to have left us. We have gotten hot. I don't probably a hundred at least a hundred comments that we need to come check out Whole Foods now it is a little bit of a drive for us but you know what it's like this just this is awesome I know look at that those are the big pepperonis all fresh I don't know about that one but I'm sure they would get you a new one. Oh, there's some 
more fresh right there but you can get this eat at the little eatery do your shopping it's really nice kind of reminds me of Kroger marketplace in that aspect obviously uh, a lot of this stuff looks pretty amazing well, they have all different kinds of cheeses back in here. I wish it was a, a little more light back here so we could see it better. Uh, we can see it, but I mean on, on camera here. But yeah, definitely uh, reminds me a little of Murray's at Kroger Marketplace. All kinds of awesome cheese. Boy, they really pack it in here too at Whole Foods. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to go through all of it today, but we're going to go over some things uh, that some of you guys asked about. If I can find it, find it. I, I tried to jot down a couple notes on some of the names of things. Uh, one of them was like a cheese or like a cheese dip. I'm trying to find it here. I don't know if this is the area or not. There are so many. There. Oh wait, this is it. The tofuti. Tofuti better than cream cheese. Uh, imitation cream cheese plain. That's it. I can't believe we found that. $4.39 for that. That is kosher. A lot of gluten-free options here. A lot of organic options here as well. So I did want to show the milk here. We have organic whole milk. Uh, 365 brand. $5.99. So that is some, some pretty pricey milk. But uh, let's see. We've got even pricier milk here. The organic valley. Uh, organic whole milk here. $8.99 a gallon. Eesh, that's pricey. So these are more like the prices everybody else. Because, you know, we always say on the channel we get really cheap milk uh, because we're surrounded by dairy farmers, but not so cheap here. Is I don't... that because it's organic? Yeah. No, it's it, those it is. Ones. Uh, 365, these might be... These are 519, so a little cheaper. Um, and they do have the half gallons for 299. So if you've never tried it before, like if I was going to try it, I would, I would just get a half gallon just to say I tried it. So this 365 thing must be their brand. Yeah, because this so, is the stuff when I ordered from Amazon Fresh, that's the brand I got. Say that again? I said when I ordered from Amazon Fresh, that's the brand. Oh, the 365? 365. It does say Whole Foods Market on it too, so. Because <laughs> uh, those are like the good broccoli. Yeah, just we've had this before, yeah, didn't we? Okay, yeah, when we were all locked in our houses and stuff, Jess was ordering... Amazon Fresh. I remember these were the florets that we got. Two twenty nine for a pound here. That's sixteen ounces for two twenty nine. That's not too bad considering it's organic. Uh, they got some chopped kale here, two ninety nine. I know a lot of people were saying that this place is very expensive, and I'm sure on a lot of things it is. But maybe we'll be able to find some deals here. Got some rice cauliflower for two nineteen. That is twelve ounces. Dr. Prager's. <laughs> Some little spinach bites there. I think uh, we've had a couple comments about Dr. Prager's uh, products on the channel, so I want to point that out. They got the sweet potato littles, spinach littles, broccoli littles. Uh, maybe these are trying to get your kids into eating vegetables. <laughs> uh, let's see. Some of the Amy's bowls here. Uh, don't see a price on them on the bottom here. I do see this Greek inspired. Uh, red rice and veggies for $4.99, uh, $5.99, $5.79 for the chili enchilada. Uh, these are $4.79 at Kroger's, so I don't, but they don't have a sticker on them. Okay, so here we go. So all of Amy's are gluten free, I believe. I believe, I think, well, this one doesn't say gluten free, but uh, a lot of the others do. We did see the enchilada cheese ones at Kroger for $4.79, so a dollar more here. Um, let's see, boy, they got some pretty good looking stuff though. Look at this little uh, ravioli, cheese ravioli, ten seventy nine. dollars uh, I don't know, I mean, it looks like a decent sized portion. It's already, it's basically already made. You just gotta cook it, boil it up for a few minutes. All kinds of interesting options. Oh, they got the Amy's burritos. We've gotten some comments on these. It's $3.49, but they are pretty big burritos. They got the black bean that somebody wanted. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of different ones too that we've never seen before. So Jessica was pointing out the Whole Foods Market pizzas here. They got a rising crust three meat. Did you want to try this? Yeah, maybe. 
four ninety nine. Uh, the Kroger brand self rising crust is four ninety nine right now. So yeah, that's, I mean, it looks a little smaller. It is probably a little smaller. Let's try I mean, and get the it. Cheese ones are just three ninety nine. Oh, okay. That's not a bad price at all. Yeah, I do want to get. I do want to buy some of this stuff so that we can try some of their products. So I am starting to understand why everybody on the channel who shops at Whole Foods is always talking about Amy's because they have way more Amy's products here than they do at any other store I've ever seen. I've never even seen these pizzas before, but I gotta say, some of them look pretty good. Look at that veggie lovers up there. That looks good. Jess, we probably should have never came in here. No way, no way. <laughs> uh, they got macarons, guys, macarons. It is $10 for a six pack, but macarons are expensive everywhere. So not gonna get any of these today, but tell you what, I do love a good macaron. One awesome thing I just noticed here is they have different soaps, handmade soaps that are local from Ohio here. This is actually, uh, this lady here is from Goshen, I guess, where she makes these. Goshen is the area where they had that tornado a couple weeks ago. Um, I gotta say, these smell fantastic. Uh, kind of drew me over here, but it's, I'm, I like that they support local groups and are selling local products. That is really awesome. So you want to try one of these soaps? So, $19.99 a pound. Pound? How do you weigh it? I don't know. Is that a pound? No, that is not a pound. That's, I don't know. They're probably like $2. I don't know. We'll get one. Support, support our local community. I guess I never really realized how much of the Whole Foods Market products that they have here. I guess I should have put two and two together with Amazon and all that stuff. But they have all this shrimp and everything. They, they you guys, the whole catch uh, shrimp, we've got a lot of good comments on this. It is $10.99, so a little pricier than like Meyer or something. They've got the Boom Boom shrimp, which is the Royal Asia. We've got some comments on these. It's nice to actually come here and see a lot of the things that you guys have been talking about in the comments. Uh, so that we can kind of get an idea of what they are, how much they cost. Okay, so we are going to go with the cherry almond soap. We did find out that this is about five ounces. We're going to weigh it. Um, so it's going to be close to about five dollars, I believe, maybe six dollars. But I love how this supports our, our local community here and that they're selling these products inside Whole Foods. I think this is really awesome. I will support our local community. So looking at all these healthy foods and waters and all this stuff, I just came across this. Liquid death. Mountain water. Drinking water from the Alps. I don't know. Would you drink that? Okay, so we've never really had too many comments on the Terra chips. I used to get them when they were cheaper. They used to be $2.99. They've just kind of skyrocketed in price lately. $4.29 here. Uh, they were $3.99 at... Kroger the last time I checked. We'll have to check. I'm sure they've gone up. They have a sale on these uh, Prime member price. So, okay, I got a question. So we're Prime members. Do we get the Prime member price? I Do we just give them the... So. I don't know how that works. I don't, I don't know. really either. Do we got to get like a card or something? I don't know. Let us know down in the comments. We're probably going to ask somebody anyway, but since we're Amazon Prime members, do we just have Is to show them, show them our account? All right, we're gonna ask somebody. So we're gonna try the popcornix. So what are these corn? It looks like kettle corn, but kettle it's like corn, not but fried, chips. but it's like a, yeah. Yeah, like popped, like those pops kind of. Yeah. Cool. Uh, they are on sale. Yeah, we're gonna, so the prime deal, it would be two for 540. Should we get two of them? I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know if it works like Kroger or not, where you don't have to buy two. See. Okay, yeah, save it. Prime know. member price sale two for six dollars or two for five forty with the prime price. So we probably want to get at least two of them, but I'm sure that this includes maybe all these that are on this price. Oh well, no, probably not. So somebody was saying that they really love the Lundberg ice or rice cakes. They've got them here. They, you know, I mean, $4.49, they're a little pricey. They are organic, though. Uh, and they've got the wild rice one, I think somebody mentioned. The brown rice salt-free cinnamon toast. And the brown rice 
lightly salted, and they have the little thin stackers here, $4.19 a box. Um, yeah, it's good to see a lot of this stuff that you guys have mentioned, and we've never been able to get out here. Not going to be able to go over all the meats today, but they do have the pasture-raised ground beef, 90% lean, 10% fat. These one-pound packets for $4.94. Four and if you want the 100% grass-fed grass ground beef, 85%, 15% fat, uh, these are $7.99. But I know somebody was asking about the grass-fed, saying they weren't able to find it. Uh, they do have it here at this world market. They do have the Atlantic salmon fillets that somebody had asked about. 32 ounces, 2 pounds, $25.99. But these are farm-raised, uh, and it is the whole uh, world market World Foods Market brand that a lot of people were asking about. They do have them here, two pounds for $25.99. So yeah, some of the stuff is pretty expensive. $25.99 for two pounds of salmon seems a little extreme. Uh, it is farm raised and you know, I mean, it looks really good. Everything here is fresh. Everything here looks great. Uh, you know, pretty awesome so far. We're gonna look at a few more things. We're also gonna go eat at Ford's Garage. That's right. I said it. The Ford Car Garage. We're going to check that out. Apparently, they got some of the best burgers around. Uh, it's been open for a couple months here. We're going to check that out. Uh, show you maybe some of the menu and stuff like that. Have fun with us for dinner. But we're going to check out a little bit more here. What you find? I found a tea I want to try. What is it? Sweet, Sweet Joe, Joe tea. tea. They have God, all these flavors. Good. Oh wow. That's interesting. I want to try one. What do we got here? We got a raspberry. raspberry oh, there we go. Wow, the first one you saw. Yes, I will try that one. Okay, well, this is what everybody wanted to see. It's the produce. I got to say, at first glance, it does look pretty awesome. One thing, too, is as we get toward more organic options, remember, they are going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, they won't be. Now, we do have some big honking peaches over there. They are $2.69 a pound. Again, right now, they are... Uh, 99 cents a pound at Meyer and 89 cents a pound or that might be vice versa well they're both on sale for under a dollar a pound at Meyer and Kroger the only difference is, is Kroger you have to have uh, your uh, digital coupon ready so they do have the navel oranges bagged navel oranges here the field pack says 64 ounces so that would be four pounds for $5.99 uh, one navel orange is $1.99. I gotta say, these look way better. Okay, so I will say they do look better than Kroger, but again, I am not impressed with the tomatoes. I think that tomatoes are just, I don't know, uh, maybe we'll have to get to Jungle Gems here at some point. And these are the ones on the vine. These are the ones that I was telling you about uh, in the live show last night. But, I don't know, like some of them... They're just not, they just don't look great. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. They, they haven't looked great anywhere, so. So I like how they put these huge avocados ready to eat in three or four days, letting you know how long you got. Um, oh, it has this chart here, too. Oh. That shows you, like, the coloring, how you can tell. Oh. Like, if it's super green, it yeah. has to wait a few days. Darker, That's pretty awesome. Ready to make guacamole. Yeah, why don't we? You want to get one? Okay. What did you make the last time with that? Guacamole. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's get one. We'll wait a few days and we'll make some guacamole dip. I do gotta say that all the greens look really good here. Real fresh looking, nicely watered. Got some carrots. These are only $1.29 a pack. Uh, that's pretty good. About the same size as one pound. Yep, sure is. Uh, the Bold House at Meyer, at Meyer is a dollar right now, but it is normally a dollar nineteen a pack. So, pretty much all of their produce here is organic. But I will say this celery looks like some of the best I've ever seen. Two ninety nine each. And look at this, guys. They have a ton of broccoli. Three forty nine a pound. This is the best broccoli I've seen, and I don't know how long. So I just want to show you guys, everybody that's been asking about yellow onions, they do have them here. Organic yellow onions, these are $1.79 a pound. I will say, that's probably a pound right there. Look at that. That is huge. 
and they do have a bunch of the organic red onions. I gotta say, all this stuff looks great. Organic, organic sweet onions. onions, look at this. Wow, about the biggest sweet onion I've ever seen in my life. So they do have these watermelons here, uh, $6.99 each, they are seedless. I gotta say, they look pretty good, but they are a lot smaller than the ones that we've seen at Kroger. What did you say? What did I say? Something about employees. I said they don't have an employee shortage here. Oh, no, they do not. There is a ton of employees here. Good to see. I wanted to show another local guy here from Akron, Ohio. I think this is really awesome what they do here. Uh, so this is some of his product over here. The Akron honey, some brawl honey here. This is really cool. So this is his product and he's selling it here at Whole Foods Market. This is too cool. Habanero hot honey. That's interesting. So I just kind of wanted to point this out because it interested me. <laughs> Got all kinds of sausages, bratwurst, and one thing I did notice is something that we can never find at Kroger is the Applegate Organic Sweet Italian. Uh, somebody had said these were $8.99 at your Whole Foods, same as here. They do have them. I know a lot of people have been having trouble finding them. I'll tell you what, we're just kind of bumping into things all over here. Uh, we'll have to come back here at some point. But I do got to say, it, it is cool the different variety that you get here. Look at this. Uncured grass-fed beef hot dogs. Okay. Okay, so there were a lot of people getting some of it in the back there, but they had a little dispenser that had a bunch of this lemonade in like a container, and you could get a little cup. We tried it, but like I said, this place is very packed. It is Saturday today, uh, but this is really good. $3.39 for this organic lemonade. I thought it was fantastic. Just wanted to show you. Um, this is Dano approved. Okay, so I wanted to cycle back around to the produce here, and I'm not kidding, there was like 100 people back here, and I didn't want to get in anybody's way. But I did want to show off some of the apples here. Uh, organic honey crisp apples, $3.99 a pound. So, a little pricey there. Well, that would be $12 for a three-pound bag. Um, most places, $7.49 for a three-pound bag, but not organic. Uh, they do have the organic Fuji apples for $2.79 a pound. And you notice there's not like a waxy texture on these. That's because they are all organic. No pesticides or anything like that. So they are going to be a little bit more expensive. A little more care, a little more work is going to cost a little more. Checking out the cucumbers here. Uh, 89 cents each. Uh, we've been seeing these for like 99 cents each. So that's not too bad there. Uh, it says local. I don't see if anybody is part of the local people that bring this in. Um, maybe. They do have corn on the cob here. That looks pretty good. Let's see. Three for two dollars. Uh, the bicolor corn. I do gotta say these look really good. Some more of the broccoli that we saw over there. Look at this broccoli. Doesn't this look good? good. Yeah. There hasn't been any broccoli. The only thing we've been able to find are the florets. And, uh, they did have some at Walmart, but it looked terrible. I know, right? Yeah. Jessica can make some really awesome broccoli soup. Uh, and they do have the organic bunch celery there, $2.99 each. Look at that celery. Look how green that is. And of course, you guys know me. I have to check out the peppers while we're here. I will say these are really good looking organic bell peppers. These are $3.49 a pound. So you might be able to get two, maybe three out of them. Really work the deal for you. But uh, I got to say, they look really good. Check out the mushrooms here. Since we're always having a shortage of mushrooms around the city, no shortage here. I will say, you can just tell by the look of them how good they look, how fresh they look. Uh, you know, I look, at, I look at all the produce every day in the stores, and I will say, you know, these are a little pricey, $4, right? Same amount that you're going to get that you're going to pay $2.19 for a Kroger, or $2.29, or whatever it is now. These look really good. I do love some of the bagged uh, stuff that they have here, real fresh green beans you know that they haven't been out in the open i know that's a big thing for a lot of people uh 2.99 that is 12 ounces a little, a little pricey. Ones. look at those oh i used to love putting those in salads we haven't been able to find those anymore remember they used to have those at the kroger salad bar yeah they don't have that anymore that's gone i wonder they if they down? yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah kroger salad bar has been down since mm -hmm. getting a covid um out much. Yeah. Oh, they got the bigger bags here too. $5.99 for two pounds. 
So we had some people on the channel that were comparing the Earthbound Farms to the 365 Whole Foods Market brand. Just said Whole Whole Foods here, but 349, same price. Uh, and I gotta say, it looks just as good. Um, they do have the 80 acre farms here too. Zero pesticides, that's good to see right on the package, I guess. 599 for this, so a little pricey. I forget, where did we see 80 acre farms before? I think it's at uh, Jungle Gems, the international food market up north of us. Uh, but yeah, really good product from what we hear. Okay, so we decided to come over and eat at Ford's Garage here at Rookwood Commons. Wanted to show you some of the cool stuff. Uh, they got these car things going up on the uh, racks here. Got one going right above us. This is really cool. We'll take a look at the outside here in a few minutes. Uh, we had to hurry up and get our seat. Uh, really cool place though. Okay, so being that this is our first time to this place, I want to go over a little bit of the menu here. They've got all kinds of, uh, we bumped into a friend here we know, and um, she was telling us that everything here is good. This burnt ends melt here for $15.99. It's a little pricey, but not too bad. Um, they got brisket ranchero, they got all kinds of burgers, a mac and cheese bar, shrimp mac and cheese. Okay, so I had to hit pause there because our waiter came back and it's really cool. I'm not gonna show, they're wearing like, uh, like they're working in the Ford garage. They're wearing like Ford uh, auto mechanic outfits, so it's really cool. I asked him what he recommended and he said, the burgers are fantastic. The uh, Johnny Capella, uh, Model A, <laughs> uh, $15.99. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them here, but uh, they got, he, he recommended, he said his favorite is this barbecue brisket, which I think I might try. Uh, Fiona the Hippo is actually the one of the hippos from the Cincinnati Zoo here. <laughs> they, they're, they're all kind of named off of things from Cincinnati. Uh, they have Tillamook Sharp Cheddar. Uh, bourbon barbecue sauce, hickory smoked brisket on top of the burger, applewood smoked bacon, red onion, and crispy onion straws on a brioche bun. That sounds absolutely amazing to me. What are you thinking? Yeah. Don't know yet? I don't know. <laughs> One thing I did just notice here is they have a Joe Burrow burger. The black and blue, uh, black and seasoning, these are all burgers. Black and seasoning, crumbled blue cheese, applewood smoked bacon, caramelized onions, chopped romaine and tomato on a pretzel bun. That sounds pretty epic too, but I think I'm gonna have to go with this barbecue brisket burger. One thing I wanted to show that we are getting is the Piston Tower of Onion Rings. Looks absolutely fantastic. Giant Funnel Tower of Jumbo Piston Onion Rings. Okay, so I just noticed that even our silverware is wrapped in a shop towel and it has a clamp, a hose clamp on here. How cool is that? Okay, so do you guys want to see the coolest thing ever? <laughs> this is a this is a car piston. Well, they put the funnel on the end of it here so it stands up straight, but it's a it's actually a piston from a Ford car. And look at them onion rings. Don't those look great? Oh boy, I don't even want to touch it. It looks so perfect. How have we never eaten here before? I've never even heard of it. I haven't either. Okay, so our food just got here. I got the barbecue brisket. In case you forgot what you ordered, they give you a little, little flag there. Got a Ford's Garage printed on here. Here, you want to show them yours? Yeah, I got a Ford signature. It is cheese, bacon, uh, it was supposed to have the barbecue sauce on, on it, but I got it on the side in case I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, but it smells good, so I'll probably pour it on. It smells pretty awesome. We'll give a little review after we're done eating here. Okay, so I just wanted to show off some of my burger here because this is absolutely fantastic. Look at that bacon there. Applewood smoked bacon. Got the brisket here in the middle. Perfectly cooked burger. Guys, this place is incredible. Oh, what a meal. That... Ford's Garage, if you have one of those near you, apparently it's a chain restaurant. I didn't know that. What an awesome place. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Uh, you loved your burger. It was uh, yummy. My burger was fantastic. The uh, onion rings were awesome. Uh, Whole Foods right here. Awesome store. A lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. 
Um, I thought we were going to come in here and it was going to be ridiculously expensive. Um, now, a lot of stuff is, but we kind of... similar to... We, yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I don't know. Considering everything is organic, you're going to pay those same kind of prices for organic stuff at Kroger or, or other places too. Meyer, Jungle Gems. I, I would compare the prices to Jungle Gems. Jungle Gems is nice, yeah. but it is expensive. Um, not as... Uh, I was a little disappointed with the tomatoes, but that's the tomatoes are just bad everywhere. Uh, they're just, I don't know, they're just not coming in good. Uh, somebody advised us to get the Campari tomatoes, so we may have to try those. Uh, I have tried them. Even those have been a little, little off a little, but that's okay. Uh, we did get the pizza. We got a few other things. We got the teas, the corn chips. So we got the key lime tarts. Uh, you got the Oreo cupcake, right? Yeah. And I got the salted caramel. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that stuff's pretty good. Cars running, AC's on, don't want that stuff to melt. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.